I'm not sure who this message is for, but God placed this message on my heart. Whoever you are that clicked on this video, I pray that you stay until the end of this video because I want you to get everything I'm about to share with you, okay? So right now, it's really late at night. I'm extremely sleepy. You can tell by my eyes. And I'm also trying to keep my volume down because my daughter is asleep right there in the next room. And uh, she's a real light sleeper, so I don't want to wake her up. But I want to tell you all something. So earlier today, I cut the grass, right? And I'm going to be completely honest with you. Anytime that I cut the grass, I put the blower on the charger. I have an electric blower so that whenever I finish the grass, I can, you know, uh, use the blower. So whenever I start cutting the grass, I plug the blower in. And after about 30 or 40 minutes, you know what I'm saying, that's when I take the blower off the charger and I blow it. And, you know, the battery goes out within like after I hold the blower down for like two and a half minutes. So it kind of gets the job done, but it usually runs out when I'm like 80% done with blowing. So uh, that's neither here nor there. But today was different. Let me tell you all what happened. So the last time I was supposed to cut my grass, it started pouring down raining. But 30 minutes prior to that, I chose to put the blower on the charger a little early. See what I'm saying? So I got rained out. I didn't get the I didn't get to cut the grass. But I just decided to just, you know, it's pouring out rain. Just let the blower stay on the charger. Let it charge all the way up. Cool. Well, this time when it was time to cut the grass. Man, look. I went. You know what I'm saying? I picked that blower up. After I done cutting grass, I picked the blower up. I'm talking about this thing fully charged. Like, as a matter of fact, I might have charged it a little too much. You know what I'm saying? That thing been charging up for like three days, man. You know, almost kind of scared me, man. That thing might catch on fire or something, man. That thing is charged all the way up. So, you know what I'm saying? I get ready to press the button. And this thing, I'm talking about blowing harder than I've ever seen it blow before. Normally it's a little weak, little mm -hmm. but this thing man, I'm trying to tell y'all the truth. This thing was blowing grass all everywhere. I'm like, man, this this what I need. I need to do this every time. I thought I had a bad blower, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm you know, I'm all in my head like, man I, I, I was thinking I needed to get another blower but really I needed to just leave it on the charger. When the last time we left someone to charge it for three days? Well, it ain't necessary for three days, but you know what I'm saying. I left that thing on the charger for two or three days, and guess what? It gave me all power. Normally, it might take me, you know, two and a half, three minutes to fully blow off, you know what I mean, the front area or whatever. But this thing only took me about a minute. Why is that? Because I had power, and I wasn't playing around. You know what I'm saying? I was taking care of business out there because I had power. What I want you to understand is the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. The Holy Spirit is the power. See, oftentimes in life, y'all, we try to do things in and of ourselves, in and of our own strength. Understand one thing. God can do more in two seconds than you can do in two years. It can take you two years to build something, two years to do this, two years to do that. Two years of all your works. And God could breathe on that thing in two seconds. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the power of the Holy Spirit. When you let God operate, when you let God flow through you. Man, I'm trying to tell you the truth. It's his power. Don't deny his power. That blower today, that thing changed my life, man. Because the whole time I'm blowing, I'm thinking about this video. I'm thinking about what God put on my heart. And I'm laughing and smiling the whole time. Because I already know what the video about. You know what I'm saying? I'm blowing grass all everywhere. You know how when you be blowing, sometimes you don't really be paying attention. So you end up blowing grass back in the spot. You look around, you like, I've been blowing grass back and forth. Like, let me blow straight. Blow it in the street. I'm sitting here blowing it back and forth. That's what happened when you got so much power. See, I wasn't used to having that much power. I'm used to having a little bit of power and I'm barely moving the grass and I can concentrate because 
it kind of like water, you know, it's just flowing down slowly. But when I got so much power and the wind blowing, <laughs> I'm blowing and the wind blowing that way. Where I wasn't used to all that power, you know what I'm saying? But it still was enough power to get it done in a fraction of the time. What I want you to understand is you got to invite God in on your situation. Your problem that you're dealing with right now, I challenge you to lay that thing down at the feet of Jesus. Invite him in on the situation. Let him make the crooked thing straight. You doing more work trying to do it all by yourself. Release that thing to him. And allow his power to work it out. Don't try to figure out what only God can work out. So you, you got to get on the charger. Get in his presence. Release that thing to him. And let God be God. See, be still. And let God fight your battle. Be still and know that he is God. Be still and be still. You understand? Be still and be still. So be still and then tell yourself again, be still. Then you're going to be even more still. Then you're going to be frozen. In other words, stop all the moving and the action around and let God go to work. Be still and know that he God. Man, that blow will change my life today, man. I thank you, Lord, for that revelation. Lord, I release everything to you. This is Lord, this this your YouTube channel, Lord. I pray you get this video out to whoever it's supposed to reach, Lord. Help them, help them, help them to know your power. Use me as your vessel. I thank you. I love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, I love you so much. I appreciate you tuning into this video. If you made it to this video, hit the like button. I need you to comment below. And I need you to write, I got the power, right? I need you to comment, I got the power underneath the video in the comment section. That lets me know you made it to the end of the video and understand God wants to flow through you. That supernatural power only by him. We can't do it in and of ourselves. The power is in the Holy Spirit. And he wants to show himself through you. He wants to use an earthly and a willing vessel to flow through. Just like a pipe. The water got to flow through the pipe. But the, the pipe has to be willing. The, the pipe can't be clogged up and, and, and not wanting to, you know what I'm saying, cooperate. You got to be that open vessel. And watch him flow through in you in your situation. Be still and let God be God. Uh, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. New videos every day, 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time. I love you so much. And uh, I'll see you uh, on the next video. All right? You got the power now.